Good morning, China. Yes. Good morning, um, Texas. Good, good afternoon, Texas. Good afternoon, Texas. Good morning, China. Oh, you, you look so bright. You look like the I, I, I mean, you always are. Yes, yeah. of course you are, but even more so today. Well, I saw that it's very bright where you are. So the same sun shines on us all, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it is the same sun. It's just the other side of it for it's us. Just the other side of it, yeah. It's a good thing that thing's round, isn't it? It is. <laughs> oh, going to be a good day for you, and it's winding up a long day for me. Oh, and it's hot, hot, hot. Yeah, what three. are you going to cook for dinner? Kathy always makes amazing, amazing dinners. Well, I can tell you that it's going to be crab cakes. Oh, oh I love I know, them. good crab cakes, yeah. Oh, and can you it, it's, next it's, time I come over? Yes, of course. But it's so nice to live to a coast where we have fresh seafood and it's just it's a wonderful thing. We're blessed yeah. to to get fresh seafood. Yeah. We had an amazing fish yesterday. It was like a whole fish. Um in China they love doing whole fish. Um it had amazing sauces. It was so tender. Oh, it's delicious. I think I saw that picture on Facebook, as a matter of fact. It looked yeah. yummy. You had mm. nice broccolini, I believe, with that. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, beautiful. Nothing goes past you. Well, <laughs> tell everyone while we've got it, while we've got an audience here, tell everyone what you're doing in China. Yeah, well, so um, back in 2019 at in, in the Gold Coast, at our conference in the Gold Coast, we met a guy called Rubo, Rubo Yao, and he has been he's been a student of Alan's and has been so excited about oridology. Like his story is amazing. And and it'd be worth going to see, um, worth going back to one of our episodes where we interviewed him. But he he really wanted to bring iridology to his town in China, his, his small town of 10 million people. Um, <laughs> like it's, it's a big place. It's kind of a smallish town in, in China, but it's kind of a big place. Nanjing. So he's got a class ready for us. Um, I think we've got about 10 or 12 students and we're going to start today and we're going to do a certificate course. So we're going to do five days of level one and two and I'm going to do it with Lynn, Olive Lynn from... Um, from Malaysia and it's super exciting you know being with her like being with the three of them last night was just it, it literally was four years just passed so quickly like we were going to we were going to do this class in 2020 in April April 2020 which obviously you know that it couldn't have happened um so it's been four years that we've been talking about it and now it's we've made it happen it's exciting that that you know that seed was planted yeah what, four a little over four years ago yeah. And look where you are now, and you're planting more seeds and 10 to 12 people. And, and I'm going to be the only lymphatic off. in the room. Say again? I'm going to be the only lymphatic in the room. <laughs> you, <laughs> you will be. You will be. But that's how we learn. That's, that's right. how we learn. So, oh, I'm, I'm just oh, a little bit jealous here that I'm not with you, but... You are making some great strides. You are taking it into the other countries. That is exactly what we want to do. We want to blow yeah. the lid off iridology. I know that everyone that is watching this and listening to this broadcast is going to send you energy and support you in this in this this new venture. Thank you. Of bringing yeah. China in. And, and oh, it's and, beautiful. And, uh, of course, in China, they've done iridology, you know, in the mm. in the past. Mm. Long time, but it, it, modern oridology is not really used in China very much. Right. So it's exciting that it's it, that it's that is happening, and mm -hmm. and e even even some people have been using it um, to some degree in their practices, but mm -hmm. they, 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 so, sometimes they're still thinking that the iris changes. Mm -hmm. So we've got to sort of try and break that myth as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, more That's power right. to you. I just I support you. You know, always one hundred and ten percent. And oh. I know our audience does too. So, oh, fabulous. fabulous. Well, you. I guess we should share with our audience today that we do not have a guest. And that's okay because we're getting them lined up. You're traveling. So it's it's a little difficult right now. And I've, I've got about 100 irons in the fire, so to speak. So uh, we were going to take a look at some eyes and uh, just kind of do a simple discussion. Talk about them. 
I love, I love these days when we talk okay. about eyes. Yeah, I do too. I do too. It's fun. It's fun. I think our I think our uh, viewing audience loves to hear it too. They like to hear yeah. how we bounce some things great off feedback. each other. Yeah. And remember, remember with the feedback to like, um, leave a comment down the bottom. Always, thumbs up, share. Uh, I've been trying to answer them, answer the um, responses that we get. The the the. Uh, from everybody well, that I see. I'm sorry? It's a beautiful left eye. It is a beautiful left eye. Uh, you want to kick it off? You want to go ahead? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the first, the first, when you put it up there, the first thing I noticed was a beautiful um, jewel at about 10 o'clock, right a, a, along the collarette, against the collarette. Mm. So I'm going to say to her, people with eyes like yours are usually related to someone who may have had some sugar balance issues. Um and and also, I mean, because it's in the pancreas quadrant, and and also talk to her about the sweetness of life. You know, like yeah. you know, making sure that she. Um, it, it's it's a girl, isn't it? This yes, this is a friend of ours. Um, and um, she when she visited you when you well when you visited me, she came over and we all That's had right. dinner together. That's right. And yes. you were so sweet to to uh, give her a Bowen treatment as well. And I asked for permission if we could take her eyes and just broadcast them to the world if she was okay with that. And she was like, "Yeah, go for it." Awesome. Well, so I, I would I would like anyone that has pancreas signs. I always try and talk to them about the sweetness of life because. I'm I'm kind of like a warrior to get the sweetness of life from from the things we do and the people we 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 um are with rather than from Tim Tams and Oreos and things like that which which people often get their sweetness of life from. Mm -hmm. Um. So oh yeah, I, th that's the first thing I would do with her, I think, and and also because she's she's fairly driven. I mean, now, now that we know who she is, she's fairly driven, and she achieves a lot. So she's got the rings of of accomplishment there, quite a lot of a lot of rings of, of accomplishment. So she's she's someone who probably has lists and loves to cross them off her list, mm -hmm. and and that that that's great. But also, what she needs to learn is that the quality rest is the most important thing for her. Mm -hmm. So quality rest and 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 diet, good diet, because you can see she's got an amazing resiliency all throughout her iris. But in the inside the collarette, the resiliency is lower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the gut will be complete will be very, very important for her to to um to look after. And also I think for her, having nutrient rich foods, like a diet full of nutrient rich foods is going to be a very good idea because um because that will that will provide the nutrients for her to, to accomplish things. I mean she ain't gonna um, be able to accomplish things if she doesn't have the nutrients and the fuel to do so. Absolutely. So I think I think putting the the best fuel in her in her diet is is a great idea. And when I say nutrient rich foods, I mean, you know, things that are going to give her a lot of nutrients. Not a sandwich, like a white bread sandwich, ain't going to give her much nutrients at all. Whereas a smoothie with some spinach and you know nuts and seeds and protein powder, and that's going to go straight to her gut, and it's just yeah. going to go straight to you know to to being um, absorbed by the intestines, and they're going to love it. And then she will be able to achieve more because she'll have the energy to do so. Mm -hmm. Very good. Love it. Um, we're going to see that she is a shaker personality. We've got the pigment. We have some very small lacuna in place here uh, around the collarette. But on the other eye, we're going to see actual bigger lacuna in the eye. Uh, do you want to touch on the shaker? Type. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the sh the shakers are all about, um, you know, all about expansiveness and great ideas, and um, and they don't necessarily um follow through with their ideas. They often get other people to do that. But I think, I think for 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 Keely, um, she's um, she's someone who will who will have these amazing ideas, but want will want to try and do them all herself as well because because of that those rings of accomplishment. So it, it's it's important to have those incredible drive and and force to, and, and she's going to be someone who wants to be followed or mm -hmm. you know people want to follow her as well but mm -hmm. i think on on the flip side of that we want to make sure that she has enough time for quality rest mm -hmm. because she i mean ideally for with any any at type or any firm chromatized type um they want you want them to go to bed before 10 mm -hmm. to get that quality that really good quality rest mm -hmm. um, and it's all right to get up early 
but but staying up late often is is not so good for these people. They achieve a lot, but they don't achieve. It's not as um. It's it's not 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 as quality. You know the the type of achievement thing they do isn't as quality. They kind of do it when they're getting tired right. and stuff. Right. So so for the for her shaker type, I think I think a really good lesson for her would be to um to delegate. Mm -hmm. she, to, yes. It would be hard for her to do, but really good to delegate to others mm -hmm. because she's going to have a lot of great ideas um and and drive mm -hmm. but i think she needs some some minions if you like to to mm -hmm. help her mm. very good very good i, I, I agree just say with they're that. following her <laughs> totally agree with that and and she is she is the type that she will take on a project and she's got a lot of plates spinning and that can be overwhelming when you add those contractions the ring of achievement in that uh, it can be, it can be w very overwhelming to the point that they lose control yeah. and it can, it can really it will break them down and they will yeah. lose that quality of sleep because they're up at night worrying about, Oh, oh did I yeah, do yeah. this? Did I do this? Did I do this? And, and, so, and she's got a, yeah. it is better she's to got a lot of energy. She's got a lot of energy because she's got a big ciliary zone. She's got a small, mm -hmm. a small um, pupil and, you know, smallish colorette. So she's got a large ciliary zone. So she is going to be have a lot of energy, but I, th I think um, it would be good to uh, to balance that with right. um, quality rest as well. And on a behavioral standpoint, I would like to talk to her about the radial that we see straight up at 12 o'clock. Mm. That's our little stubborn sign. Now, this mm. is her left eye, so uh, a lot of that stubbornness could be coming from mother. And uh, I would want to address that and say, you know, did... Did your was your mother stubborn or is she stubborn? You know, if she's if she's still alive, which she is, uh, to, let's talk about stubborn. Let's talk about how that's affecting you. What what's that bringing to the table for you? Also, will if you look over, I uh, don't know if you can see my cursor here. Over in this area, we've got another radial going out into the area of will. That is generally talking about the will of the parent and how that has influenced you as well. Uh, and I do know that, uh, that my friend is pretty strong willed, whatever she sets yeah. her mind to it, she's going to do it. And she will eventually accomplish, accomplish that. So that's, that's a true statement. I'm going to just drop down here and pardon me, but it is very bright where I am, and I need just a little bit of shade, so we know oh, what we do about a, that. <laughs> you're just a bright person. I'm just radiating, but it's really not me. It's it's the actual room, but I'm going to look right down here where I've got that cursor, and I do have... You can do it too. Yeah, let's do this together. Let's just look <laughs> deep into that eye. Oh my gosh, people I know think we're crazy. We have some pigmentation in that area of impatience, and I do know that um, uh, she can be she can be a bit impatient, but she does not really let it show. But uh, with the work that she does, her daily routine, and and where she earns her dollars, uh, she has to stay on top of things because she is the um, kind of an executive director. She's uh, handling uh, the payroll for a large group of people and she's she's running a tight ship and she's running an office and she is the perfect person to do that and she yeah. does it beautifully i'd like to add but right. um you know we we do have that little bit of impatience but then again that's on the left eye that's coming out of mom how did how did that work you know so i would want to talk to her about that and see how she's being affected by that and then lastly i'm going to come over here where we do have pigment that you brought up about that pancreas area around the collarette, the, this pigment, and this is in the area of listening. Mm -hmm. And she is a beautiful listener, a beautiful listener. If you have any troubles, if you have any worries, if you have any cares or woes or anything like that, she is a listening ear without giving too, too much advice. She lets you, just kind of unload your mind, unload your thoughts. And she listens to them. And if you're up for a suggestion, she might offer up a suggestion on what to do because she knows what to do. She knows yeah. what to do. So uh, that's, that's a little bit about the behaviors with her. And I would like to also mention that she is a three girl, two girl. 
very nurturing, teacher, nurse type, independent. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and also to that, and to that. They're, they're quite that they they like they they're quite sure of themselves. I, I mm -hmm. feel, um, and they want to help others. They're big, they're big with community. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's also almost like they gather people, <clears throat> but they want to have that. They want to have that a little bit of that quality of, of being, you know, themselves as well. Right, right. Mm. Very good. Let's take another look. We've got another picture. Uh oh, no, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Here, let's take a look at this one. Oh, tell me, please tell me you see a picture there. We can. Good. I hope it's a right eye. It, 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 you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, and it's right. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, let hit us up. Tell us well, what's going interesting, on. Interesting, because because it's a ferrum chromatose um, constitution, and that often is the the um, the primary nurture point for a ferrum chromatose is often the liver, and to do with iron and things like that. Um, and we can see the first thing I noticed when you pulled this up was the pinguecula up in the um, in the sclera. Uh, right up, you know, around about two o'clock, three o'clock. So that confirms that the liver is something that she does need to work on. Yeah. Um, so one thing I would mention, uh, just a really easy thing to do to start with, would be um, uh, to start a day with uh, some lemon juice, because that's a, I find that's a really good way to cleanse the liver in the morning. And if she's really keen, to putting some turmeric, some organic turmeric, and that would be great too. And just doing like a bit of a shot. In the morning would be would be a really good way to sort of you know start her her, her liver cleanse, but also doing a um, I'd probably suggest to her doing a, like a month long liver detox at some stage would be great. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I notice when you put it up. Right. But if you, you can see with the with the uh, contraction furrows, there's a lot down the bottom around the kidney area and you know the the hormonal area that that don't go all the way around; they crisscross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's going to create create a bit of um a bit of tension, I guess, in that, in physically, mm -hmm. I mean, physically in in those areas as well. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I noticed now that you've mentioned that area, and this is a this is something that I talk to a lot of my clients about, in that lower section when we're looking down into the reproductive section, uh, uterus. Uh, uh, even in that ovary area, we're getting into the chakra. I bring up the chakras and that has to do with family. Yeah. So that might be where I see a lot of, of reaction in that area from time to time. I might throw up a question and say, let's talk about the family for just a minute. Where do you stand with them? Is it a good relationship? Is it soured? Has it been kind of wonky from time to time? I mean, I don't think I use the word wonky, but I'm just well, using you do the now. word. I do now. <laughs> but w w w Willie uses it all the time, so don't I worry. know Willie does. Willie Wonky. <laughs> <laughs> so I can use it too. But it's important to find that out because if, if she struggles with some family issues, that could be the reason that we've got pain or tension or, or problems in that area. Things are just not flowing like they should. So that would bring be something that I would would kind of interject there. Anything else you want to talk about? No, I mean, and the other thing I notice is um her her um pupil border, and if you can see the pupil border, there's quite a bit of flattening in the um in the neck thoracic area and also the lumbar area. So, mm -hmm. and and as you said, when we I met Keely back in April, mm -hmm. um, we did give her a Bowen, so hopefully that helped her help oh, that area. But I think some regular treatment. She's still great. talking about that Bowen like you gave it to her last week. <laughs> but yeah, some regular treatment would be a really good idea. And the fermentation signs that we can see in the sclera and that upper portion, there's a fermentation right in the middle of that pinguecula. And we've got a nice little vessel that's running right through the middle of that. Another one just off center at the top. Generally, when the fermentation signs are already there, there is a sugar metabolism yeah. Is can she, you point to with your cursor for the people who don't can. know? So oh, yeah. like right, this one's a little off center. So probably just a little little um little ways off the eleven o'clock mark because this would be twelve. And we have this one in the pinguecula sitting right there in the center of that. So, you know, uh one of the things I would say, noticing the pinguecula and the 
uh, fermentation sign would ask, you don't tell, you ask, have you ever been told by a medical professional that you had a fatty liver? Yeah. Non-alcoholic fatty liver. Mm. And just and, see what they say. Just and yeah. if you if you look at that that sclera sign, that's amazing. That's got it's got a um a meander vessel, it's got a trauma fork, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. got a, a fermentation sign and pink vecula. It's like having four, mm -hmm. you know, like it's like having four flags on your lawn and it's not even fourth mm -hmm. of July. You're gonna and notice that you is is there any is there any doubt in your mind that she wouldn't have neck problems? Look look where we are, where I know the neck Thank is you. over in this area but we can see remnants of the neck yeah. as well here. Um, but, but that leads me to believe that a lot of, maybe some of her issues that she's experiencing would be affected by the liver and, and also by what she's eating. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Now on behavioral, if I'm gonna to touch on behavioral, I'm gonna go right back over to this lacuna that I see here. And this is- flower. It is. Let's see. Let me see if I can see a little bit close. There we go. Okay. So it is just teetering on the edge of will and rebellion. Okay. Right eye, father's side. I'm going to ask a little bit about dad. I want to know a little bit more about him and his influence on her. Okay. I wonder if she will be rebellious. <laughs> Sorry. I had to say that. Yes. I'm glad you did. No, I'm going to keep my arms <laughs> Oh, Chris, that's almost like a dad joke. It is. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to come up right here. There's a little bit of a lacuna right here, and it's off center. And what? this sits in altruism on our behavioral chart. And when we look at this, uh, and, and I know her, I know her too. So this totally fits, but an altruistic nature is someone that will take care of someone else before they take care of themselves. They will do anything for anybody and they always put themselves on the back burner. And she is that way. She is that way. I think she's learning more and more to, I've got to take care of me. Yeah. She's, she's reached this place in her life where it's important for me to take care of me. She has a son who who is has been out of college now. He's uh he's he's got a fantastic job. He's he is the love of her life. Um and and she's she's kind of woke up to the fact that hey, I've got to take care of me. I've been taking care of this and that and this and that. It's my time now. And she's learned the lesson. And she's acting on it and she's done like a total 180 and about face. And she's just, she amazes me. She really does. She's, she's a, a dear friend and she amazes me. Um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love these stories when we see people where iridology gets their attention. We yeah. haven't told them anything bad. We've told them things that are uplifting about that shaker personality. Yeah. And we've told them things that, that they can do. And these are remedies, just like you said, the lemon water. My yeah. goodness, that's not a huge investment. No. If you can get a lemon and you can get some water, you're on your way to detoxing. <laughs> Love it. Simple, simple, simple. Yeah. Oh, gosh, Chris, I hope we helped a lot of people by looking at uh, this eye. I hope this mm -hmm. this um, opened it. I hope it opened up some other eyes. Uh, and I think next time we next time we do this, uh, hopefully in a, you know, we'll record in a few days. We'll have some hematogenic eyes from China to look at. Oh, uh, I would love it! I would love it. That's where we really need our focus. And um, yeah, oh, that's that's good. Mm. I just love what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, well you. let's just wrap it on up and and say that uh, we love everyone out there that's paying attention to us and watching us and supporting us and uh, pushing iridology out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I struggled to do these love hearts. <laughs> <laughs> You're all thumbs, aren't you? Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless your heart. Um, but we do. We, uh, you know, it's it just sounds like hmm, we're just telling them. No, no, we, we appreciate you. Um, 
we love the support. We we want to elevate iridology to the place where it belongs, and I feel that's top of the list. So you guys awesome. keep doing what you're doing out there, Chris. You thank you. You just keep traveling, and uh, we'll see you again shortly. Okay. Thank All right. You, Bye, everybody. Bye.